All right, so if we actually want the head upstairs to move, we need to get motor connected to our actual EB3. So we're gonna use one of our longer sensor cables or motor cables, plug that in. And then we're just gonna run this downstairs right through that hole. Now the fun part, we actually gotta get this guy connected. So let's go ahead and run this guy around. We got this guy tilted on his side, and we can see port A is right there on the right-hand side. Go ahead and take the other end of our cable. It's gonna be a little tight, but pop that in right there. If you look here, we've got some excess cable here. That's gonna get in the way and it's gonna get caught in the treads. He'll end up ripping his head off and exploding or something like that. So let's go ahead and just push that excess cable in there. Flip this guy back up and around so we can see his insides. This cable's kind of loose. If you want, you can kind of pinch it just behind those Lego pieces right there. So that keeps the cables out of the way. You can access the menu system in there. We've got a really basic program loaded up on here. Let's see if this works. So we have our creeper creeping along. His head's moving. That's about it. Basic functionality going.